Dr. Claudia Anderson from Family Dental Care Park Ridge and welcome to Word of Mouth Wednesday. Recently we've been talking a lot about oral hygiene. We recently talked about National Children's Dental Health Month in February and in honor of that we spoke to how we can better take care of our children's teeth and how to teach them to take good care of their oral hygiene. And then we talked about how we can become role models for our children in taking care of our own oral hygiene and what that means in, in visiting the dentist twice a year and cleaning our teeth. And a friend of mine recently asked me to describe a little bit more in detail the difference between plaque and calculus. She knew there was a difference but really wasn't too sure what that was and I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to talk about that. There are three components in our mouth that have to do with the bacteria that resides in our mouth at all, at all times. The first term I'm going to use is called biofilm, and a biofilm is any kind of an, of a, of an aggregate or mixture of bacteria and microorganisms that live together. And they live together very well, so they might be different kinds of microorganisms, but they really cohabitate quite well. And the interesting thing about biofilms is that they like to adhere to smooth surfaces. And so in our mouth, the biofilm that exists on a regular basis is called plaque. That's what we want to remove from our teeth every single day. So the plaque is actually a biofilm. It's composed of many kinds of bacteria. Some of the bacteria is bad bacteria and some of the bacteria is good bacteria. But overall, they live together quite well and they like to adhere to smooth surfaces. So they like to stick to our teeth. And it's very important for us to be able to remove that on a regular basis. And the good thing about biofilms, and in this case plaque, is that it's a reversible adherent, meaning that it's easy for you to remove. It's very easy. You've, you've all probably experienced where if you take your fingernail and scrape on your teeth a little, you're able to remove some of that soft, kind of colorless plaque that's in your mouth. So if it's that easy to remove, you know that it's going to be easy for you to remove with brushing your teeth. And so if you can brush your teeth adequately and accurately twice a day, as we've talked about before, for two minutes each time, you're going to be having a really good handle on removing that plaque, that biofilm. You're not going to get that bacteria a chance or give it a chance to propagate and get worse and accumulate and cause damage to the teeth or to the gums. So brushing and flossing are very important in removing that. The third thing that I want to talk about is calculus. You will hear us call it calculus, but many people refer to it as tartar. So commercials will often call, talk about toothpaste that are tartar controlled toothpaste. And calculus or, or tartar is really just a hardened form of plaque. So the plaque is sitting on your teeth and it's soft and it's gooey and easily removable. Within 48 hours, that plaque is already starting to change into calculus. So if you haven't removed it within 48 hours, it's already making that transition. In, in 10 days, that transition is complete. So you have a pretty short window of time for, your, for you to remove that soft, gooey, easily removable plaque before it becomes calculus. Once it becomes calculus, it adheres to the tooth surface a little bit differently. It's not easy for you to remove. It's why you need to go to the dentist to have the dentist or a hygienist scrape off that calculus with special instruments that we at home don't normally have. So once that plaque has turned to calculus, it's much more difficult to remove and you need to have some professional help in removing it. And the other thing about calculus that's kind of interesting, I think of it kind of like barnacles on the bottom of a ship. It's kind of a roughened surface and there's more surface area to it, so it now attracts that plaque. So the plaque that we are already building up in our mouth is now even more attracted to the roughened surface of the calculus and it just grows and grows and grows. And, and calculus that's not removed, as we probably all know, because it's filled with bacteria, we now know that it goes from a biofilm filled with bacteria, to, and that's in the form of plaque, to now this calculus, which is just laden with bacteria, it's going to cause damage to your tooth surfaces and it's going to cause damage to your gums. And both of those are things we just don't want to have happen. So the difference between plaque and calculus is only in the consistency. The bacteria is basically the same, but, but calculus is a harder consistency. It has minerals that are found in our saliva that have accumulated with the plaque and formed this hard surface that really sticks to the tooth. It's not reversible as plaque is. So you can't scrape it off with your fingernail and you can't brush it off. 
So in a nutshell, that's the difference between plaque and calculus. And if you have any questions or you have new ideas that you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to contact us at info at parkridgedds.com or give us a call at our office. And remember, as always, we love making you smile.